First, thanks for tuning in. Uh, in our last video, I had you write down the law of conservation of energy and the equation that went with it, but I forgot to have you write down a definition. So let's go back to this here. We have the law of conservation of energy. Um, you should just add these notes in the margin of where you already, note, already wrote conservation of energy. So this is what we had so far. I'm going to underline it as we do with our definitions. And in the margin, sorry about this, I would like you to write um, this definition. The total amount of energy of a system. You can think of the skater as being a system. You can think of a pendulum swinging back and forth as a system. You can think of the ball in our energy ramp lab as a system. Remains constant. So the total amount of energy of a system remains constant unless blank is done blank or blank the system. So what words go in these blanks? Give you a quick a short pause here so you can think about it. If you said unless work is done, that's correct. Is done by or on the system. So we have um, just a little thing on the side. We had said that um, work equals change in energy. So let's add in here that when work is done by we will say that the energy um, decreases. When we say work is done on, the energy increases. To give you an example of that, you can do work, well, Tony Hawk in the video did work on himself to give himself energy so that he goes higher and higher each time. Uh, if you're lifting a, a bowling ball, you are doing work on it to give it energy. If you push a car, you're doing work on it to make it go faster, you're increasing its energy. But think about a car moving now, and think about a car that maybe hits another car. As it's hitting it, it's doing work on that other car, so the work is by the first car on the second car. And in that case, the first car's energy will decrease. It will use its energy to do the work of crushing the other car. Okay, so um, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in class.